Good late morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa. The video series that has me lounging while coming at you. Thoughts of the day. I didn't really have much to come at you with earlier, and I really still don't, but I thought, by golly, I just know that my subscribers are clamoring for my morning greeting video. Anyhow, I'm going to be super busy today. I'm super busy. It's crazy. Um, I have to basically launch another campaign on deadline day. So what do I do? I come at you instead. No, um, yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. I've done it before. I'll do it again. That's always my motto. Done it before, do it again. So I'm just checking in. There's nothing earth shattering unfolding here that I can think. Um, I went to bed last night uh, while listening to that Richard Hall. He has so many videos and stuff. It's really intriguing. A lot of them I'm going back to like 2010. But uh, he was interviewing some UFO gentleman. I don't really remember a ton about it because I fell asleep. Other than the usual, that they're oftentimes spotted over like nuclear, uh, nuclear areas, nuclear, you know, bases where they have nuclear weapons, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, I'm doing well already, aren't I? And then uh, this morning, um, you know, ever since I watched that, oh, 18 hours or whatever it was of that Madeleine McCann as put forth by Richard Hall, I've just been kind of enthralled with that case. Um, it, it's just, there's so many layers to it because those people that, there were a lot of higher ups that somehow got involved and stuff and like the, um, what is it called? The, uh, uh, um, security state, you know, the security type state in England, you know, they had members of that that were involved. It's just, it's odd. Now I went, I just remembered this morning, right before I came out, you hear that, Remember the other morning I was starting to talk about a picture or something and then the plumber pulled in? I never saw these photos, ladies and gentlemen, because I really don't watch TV. But, of course, this would have been years ago. I don't know. I was too busy, as my ex-husband used to say. I was too busy raising kids to notice. Um, but there were some really mm, uncomfortable pictures of this child uh, with, uh, like, makeup on and provocative poses and all. I don't like that at all. I... I know a couple of people in real life that, I mean, they're just innocently doing it, I'm sure, but that might have daughters and they uh, put some things up on Facebook or, yeah, Facebook that dressing the child a little bit older than her age, their ages, because it's more than one person. I know these people mean it in all good innocence, the ones that I know, but I don't know. It's, it's uncomfortable, I think. I did not have a girl, as you know, I have one, the child, <clears throat> who is a boy. And, of course, he used to do crazy things like, go. I think when he was at mom's, he'd drag out her shoes and try to wear them around and, you know, things that kids do. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's uncomfortable to me. I don't like it when people share that kind of stuff. It's in this day and age, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, it's just weird. So anyhow, yeah, now I've, I have this interest in this Madeline McCann case that I really, as I said before, uh, you know, the whole story seemed totally ridiculous to me that you would have dinner and leave your apartment open and take turns checking on kids. And it's, that's a reach, you know, no offense to anybody. Why would you be offended by this? So, um, yeah, okay, I guess that's all. I did have some comments under my video I made last night about the outrageous military spending, and thank you to Sandy for clearing up, you know, the exact cost and all. The deal is now the military budget is $700 billion. Uh, and then, like, remember Trump wanted to raise it $54 billion? Well, they raised it even more than that, which brings the total, too. Okay, so, yeah. Very good comments by Sandy, which she also pointed out that, I love Sandy, uh, she also pointed out that, um, you know, the so-called missing money, it isn't really missing, ladies and gentlemen. It's just being used for things that we're not told about. You know, everything is a state secret. Doesn't that make you mad? Don't you get upset that, oh, we can't release this, be like Hillary's emails because of national security. I don't know if they've ever said that, but I mean, it's an example. I just had to throw Hillary in for my thumbs down. Um, yeah, or we can't do this because of national security. I'm totally sick of that. Oh, and then after I, when I went to bed last night, it was weird because I um, 
Watch Jesse Ventura's new show on RT. Yes, I said RT. <laughs> um, he's talking about the budget. He interviews a veteran. And I just love him because he's so blunt and stuff. And it was cute because some of the stuff that I'd said in my video, of course, um, was the same type of thing he said because I admire him. So I'm sure I stole it from him. Just not last night I didn't, but it seemed like I did. I don't know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah. So I recommend that. I think I put it under another video. I put it under the one from last night where I'm in the dark going on about it. I put the link there. You know what I love about him? Many things. But that he changes his mind when presented with evidence. I think that's important. My friend Colleen told me, go ahead and be open-minded, but not so much that my brains fall out. You know, that, and that's true because of all the different things going around, like, that I've looked into before, like that actor-based reality. I wasn't, you know, I don't believe that. Uh, but it's just, I bet you some people do. I, I'm sure that some people believe anything that, comes down the road you know and a lot of it is true I found out so that's the weird part it's just it's almost like the conspiracy things are the real truth and then what they pass off as the truth really is the conspiracy it's opposite world kind of an Orwellian thing ladies and gentlemen so at any rate okay today's Thursday yeah deadline Um, just a reminder I'll be going live on uh, Saturday at 2.30 with oh, something to do with lyrics. I'm not going to call it Name That Tune because, you know, I might get a copyright infringement. My friend got with me and said, oh my gosh, that happens all the time. Don't worry. Don't take it personally. It's nothing you know, that, that anybody's going to clutch pearls over. Um, yeah, something with lyrics and I, for those who haven't looked at my other video about it, I have uh, Country Western Classic Rock these are the only things I'm with which I'm familiar. And what I call other. And, um, you know, I'll go over it then. And then I'll say the lyric and you can pick the name of the person. And we can do other things too, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to, I don't know, complain about the military budget, that's delightful. Please join me 2.30 on Saturday. I guess that's it. Um, my The child and George and the girlfriend and a man named Bill, a kid named Bill, are all leaving on Sunday to go back. And George told me that one of the restaurants down there, I think it is, is pretty much not in working order, I believe. Or one of the bars is not in working order. It's on the beach. And they're not going to be bringing in, I think, their regular seasonal type people. So that'll mean that this crew here can make a few dollars. That's good. And they're housing. You know, they're only supposed to house people for like six months, but they're extending that and whatnot. So... That's it. That's all I have. I'm going to get back in there. I'm going to go inside now and um, sell wildly. The campaign will be called Shop Locally. Support your area businesses, ladies and gentlemen. That's usually a pretty good one. Okay, that's all. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging all coming at you. Thoughts of the day. Join me. Join others. Drop your political identities. Focus on issues. Leave labels at the door and research before you judge.